So being spiritually made drunk is um, it's a very serious matter, and it's basically stating that um, and it basically states that being spiritually made drunk is living in lust, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You wallop in it. You crave it. You need it. You're greedy. And most won't turn away. Most won't turn back because they love that lifestyle. And because they can't accept change. They can't accept a new heart. And for that, the Lord weeps and travails. I want to take you to Luke 5. And I'm going to read, read the parable. Luke 5, 37 through 39. It's the parable of the new wine into old bottles. 37 through 39, I'm sorry. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. 38. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he saith the old is better. Pay attention to that very closely. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desires new, for he says the old is better. That is a spiritual meaning behind that. A very strong spiritual meaning. What that is saying is, is that man, the flesh, man, don't want the change. They don't want to come to repentance. They don't want the, uh, they don't want the new, for their old way of living is better than the new. And they can't take the um, the hardship, the hard journey, the narrow gate, because they rather take the broad way, and the broad way is the one that leads to destruction. So, for man says the old is better, but new wine. Once you're born again, new wine must be put into new bodies, bodies, bottles. Both are preserved. Now Christians, people that consider themselves believers will go around saying, well, I'm born again, I'm born again. And they're basically lying and deceiving themselves because when they're saying that, yet they're, they're going off and they're worried about the next big thing. They're worried about um, the next movie coming out. They're worried about when their buddy is going to get off work so they can go to the bar and wet their whistles. They're not worried about watching for the signs. They're not worried about getting right with God. They're not worried about um, repenting, falling on your face, travailing, weeping. Before God, they're not worried about Him forgiving you. So in a sense, yeah, no man putteth new wine into old bottles. You can't, you can't continue to live the old way. You can't continue to be in this drunken state if you come to the knowledge and the understanding of Christ. If you come to the knowledge and understanding of God, it's going to be made void. Your righteousness is filthy rags. Else a new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled. 
and the bottle shall perish. And the bottle is this, what you see here. The new wine is spiritually meaning, you know, you become a new man, you become a new creature. You have accepted the fact of the blood that was shed on the cross, and you have been baptized into new life. And you walk accordingly, you think accordingly, you act accordingly. The spirit overcomes the dictates of the flesh. If you have one and not the other, the bottles shall perish, they will break, they will shatter. It will be like empty words when you speak. And that is what is going on in our churches, in the world, and everywhere around you. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, it really, to be honest with you, it really doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. How is it so hard? How? How can one sit sit there cooped up? in a little room staring at a idiot box and not pay attention to what is going on not paying attention to the times that we are in don't you know the times are getting more shorter and shorter and the times, and as they get shorter and shorter, you're going to have the devil coming down with exceeding wrath. And he is going to be manifesting that more extremely and more extremely. It is going to become very hard. And eventually the protection of God is going to be removed from this place. And for the most of you, it will be too late. I imagine probably for a lot of you it is too late because there are going to be people that won't even receive this I you know there'll be people on here that come on to me with mockings and scoffings and I don't get upset it hurts it's sad I do pray for those people call them trolls call them whatever you want No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he saith the old is better. They would rather live in the in the traditions of men. They would rather live in the traditions of this world. And get their stuff. They want their money so they can buy their stuff. I need to watch my football game. I need to go to the bar with my buddies. That is more important. I want my material things. My material things consume me. But I want more. I can't handle this. So I'd rather stick the old way. That's basically what that is saying, that parable. I know this is very hard. This is a pretty hard, sobering message. Don't worry, it's not, it's not all bad. You know, there, there, there's some uh, <laughs> there's solutions. There's always solutions to every problem, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's uh, but we got to come to terms and we got to accept those solutions. We can't just say, "Oh, okay, that's it," and then turn around and go back the same way you were doing. You know, stay tuned for the next video.